I'm still very scientifically oriented. I want to understand the world in scientific terms. But it, it, it was the, really the first time that I sort of had to confront, you know, the difference between my spiritual beliefs that we can survive, you know, the, our bodily death, and this deeply held belief, scientific belief of mine that it's the brain that's doing the thinking. And I realized it was, I had a kind of epiphany where I thought, I, it isn't the brain that's doing the thinking. So I, I am not entirely certain that, that it's just the electromagnetic interference patterns that mm -hmm. is the brain hologram, because those obviously would perish when the brain perishes. I think there might be some subtler level, mm -hmm. uh, some subtler energy that we haven't discovered with our technology. Pribram, as I said, says that we're thinking with holograms inside our head, and that out there exists some, something that's more akin to the radio waves in the room from which your TV gets the image. So in essence, we're kind of conscious TV sets. And what we think is reality when we look out here is really just the image on the TV set inside our mind, but doesn't exist out there. And Pribram says this is why there's all kinds of evidence that we seem to respond, respond more to the models of reality in our head than out there.